Hello and welcome back. This is Frost Hair, and we are moving forward. Eduardo Rodriguez pitching today, um, but not in real life because he's on the 60 day DL. Uh, let's go. Let's go old school, Rocky. Um, who are we giving a day off? Give Moreno a day off. It's a travel day. Um, let's get Alec in here. Oh, it's another lefty. Nah, let's keep this. Let's keep it going. This is fine. I think it's another lefty. I think we're okay here. Um, actually, let's do this. Nah, that's fine, I guess. Um, let's put... He can do it. He got good speed. Um, reaction time, not great. Um, yeah, he can do the outfit. So let's do that. That way, if I have to pinch hit for Grichik again, um, the jock will just go into the... That should be fine. Let's do that. Going on in this game. <coughs> Damn, Corbin Carroll just stole third base. Let's go. Oh, I'm watching the replay of the game from earlier. So I'm doing doing a bunch of stuff. I avoided all of like avoided all scores and stuff from the game. Swing and a miss. Um, and the count's even. Had some work to get done, really so we'll see how it goes. With that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. And now the count is full. And what another power hitter lurking in the on-deck circle. Popped up to the left. Gross. In the foul ground. Candelario drifts towards it. He's got it. One up, one down. Now the Diamondbacks line up as put together by Tori Lovello. This is a ball club that can really slug. Lots of homers, lots of extra base hits. And Chris, that of course, a huge oh, way behind that. success of the standings for this group. Well, if you're going to be successful in today's game, you've got to be able to hit the ball over the fence. Just defensively, very hard to find the holes. And when you're talking about pitchers, you know, coming out of the bullpen, throwing 95 and above, very difficult. It's hard to string together two, three, four hits to score those runs. So definitely critical Oof, to hit those okay. homers, get the extra base knocks. This and that's guy's exactly got a lot of nonsense throwing here. Kicks and fires. Whoa. And there's a ball. Now power is such a big part of the success that we see with the good teams in the league right now and even in the okay. postseason. And now it's three and that was two. Close. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Now fly ball to Pull right off. center. Too much. Benson, straight down. Sizes this one up. Nabs it. And there's two down. Tough. Christian Walker. Tough man. Tough. The Diamondbacks. Late with the swing there. This guy at the dish excels in two strike counts. Got to be careful with him out there on the mound. Come on, I know you're throwing some garbage here. Not close with that one. And that's ball three. I knew you were going to throw some garbage out there. You come in. No. On the ground. And that's just foul. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Let's see what we got here. This Fuck. one popped up. Under it. Corrals it. And that is that. Nothing doing for Arizona. And ready to hit now for Cincinnati. TJ Friedel. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. Oh, man, I'm tired as fuck. The pitch. And now it's filled up. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. So up next, Will Benson. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. I don't think I can get there. Oh, it's way up in the stands anyways. 
the pitch. That one the other way. Goes to second. Safe there. Safe at first as they we'll see bobbled it. Next we'll see bobbled it. That was the one one. He's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base run. Lawler touches the back for one. Not in time. Oh. It's a fielder's choice. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Two on, one out. And now it's going to be Jamer Candelario. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Yeah, there's That's ball four. Damn, he's up to a lot of pitches this first inning. He's difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Throws to second for one. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play, and that'll do it. Just trying to sneak one through with the bases loaded, but an excellent job by the defense to turn that one and get out of this jam. Oh. Set for the start of the inning, and now the DH. Right, let's see. Got him swinging. One out in the second. That I hate quick counts to give you two strikes. Like right it's so there. annoying. Not getting the call, he probably should have gotten. He didn't let it affect his focus, and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging. Luke behind second. Oh. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. I should have Mejia further down the lineup, but that's okay. Two outs. And another ball. Give him 35 pitches, though. And that one is lifted in the air. Lays out, but it's off his glove. Base hit, and the inning continues. Nice, let's go. He needed that one. It's been a tough stretch at the plate lately. Put a pretty good jolt into that one. Great swing, nice balance, and weight transfer. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. Now, a Eugenio Suarez. Let's go. Right center, that's well struck. That one back there. Into the seats and right and out of here. Try to challenge me with the fastball. A massive home run. It's 2-0. That adds another game to Don't you try challenging Chris. me? Yeah, he's been doing so with a fastball. The plate and clearly driving the ball with some authority as part of that. He's really dangerous with the bat in his hands right now. But two come across. Crush that baby. Bottom of the second, and here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. And that's off the inside edge, and it's two and one. Late that time, and it's strike two. Matthew Ross behind the plate. Pitchers on fire. Yeah, pitchers that work side to side effectively love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, but if you can command your stuff on the outer edges of the strike zone, he will reward you. Three balls. Two Next offering misses down and away. I well, cannot control Ross shit right now. Shut down inning. Get that hot team back Got in him. swing the bats. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. <coughs> Jonathan India at the plate. The D-backs up by two. Bottom half of inning number two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. That's back there. That's not coming back. He circles the bases. His fourth home run of the season. And they're on the board. It's 2-1. Well, there goes the shutout, just like that. There still goes behind, the shutout. We weren't throwing a, a shutout, man. The lefty fires. Center field. Carroll moving under We weren't under getting it. a shutout. Out number two. Stuart Fairchild will hit next. One run All across right, in the frame see. so far here in the rubber match of this three game series. And the next pitch is As way outside. Change up inside, maybe. Yeah, 
and then go fastball up and away. That one lifted to left. Guriel has it sized up and makes the grab. And that shut down and inning. Take it. Oh, I guess not a shut down inning because. John India kind of looks like Kylan Boswell. In, Jordan Lawler. At least in this game. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Like if someone was like, oh, I made Kylan Boswell in this game, like I wouldn't. I'd be like, yeah, well, you did an okay job. Right Pretty field. Good. A dive and he can't haul it in. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay throw. He's in there. Nice. Well, most guys would have a double out of that, but for elite speed like his, that's an automatic double. He's thinking, how do I turn First this triple. into a triple? And that's exactly how you do it. And now, Corbin Carroll. That misses, and now three and one. <coughs> Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pinch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Come inside again. And here it comes. Headed towards the corner. Makes a nice running catch. Runner tags for third. Row home. Not in time. The run scores. Corbin and take, they it. take a two run lead. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Goriel. That's the third Candelario. Early on it. The throw to first. And they get the up. Early. It is interesting, though. When you consider the way the game is run now, it doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Two down, nobody on. Yes, Got him oh, straight. shit. Had him way out front of the slur. One run, one hit, no errors, no one left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Diamondbacks three and the Reds one. Back here at Great American Ballpark, except for the bottom of the third. Now here's the Reds' leadoff man, T.J. Friedel. Wouldn't chase that time. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you can see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One down. The right fielder, number 30. So digging in, Will Benson. One down, base is empty. Foul ball. Cutter inside. It's like a cutter to, like, the same-handed hitter is just not as good, you know? Hey. The punch out there. Oh. That's out number two. I'll take it. That was hot. Matt McClain, the next to hit for the Reds. Oh, this is a bad pitch. I thought that he was going to take that with the yard. Two space is empty. Oh, and he hit him. He, he swung at that down. shit. And he hit him. He swung. That wasn't a hit by pitch. Do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Spencer Steer on deck for Cincinnati. The Reds trailing by two here in the third and final game of the series. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. I disagree, sir. Two outs. And he grounds one to the right side. And or you take your fucking inning. time, Perdomo Jesus. So one left for Cincinnati. That was four outs that I got there, umpire. Four outs. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the DH, Randall Gritchick. Swings through that one. Good one ball. late sink on that fastball. That <coughs> man looks so good. And then he has so much contact, the and I struck out with him so much. Up the middle, Marte. Whips it to yeah. first. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Oh, boy, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. One out, base is empty. Put down. Okay. In the air, center field. 
Marte tracks it down for the out. Now, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Well, it was bumpy in the early going for the lefty, but he settled into a really nice groove. Inside and he hit him. Some he groove. One, two, and he ends up hitting him with a pitch. A. Eugenio Suarez, the next to hit. In the air to left center. Marte makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and one man left. And midway in the fourth, it's the Diamondback. Back here in Cincinnati, bottom four. And here's the first baseman, Spencer Steer. Good eye right there. And that one is lifted in the air. Hanson <coughs> makes the grab, and there's one down. Next to hit, Tyler Stevenson. Good eye in that spot. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. That one ripped right center field. That's back. It's gone. And out of here. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this. If that was very patient, solo shots. And it paid off. So now solo shots are okay. They're not great, but they're okay. <laughs> This one high in the air to left center. Carroll makes the catch, and there are two outs. Noel V. Marte getting ready to hit. Home team down a run. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. The other I'm glad way. that I caught that because I did not like it. And that the Reds get one back on this solo dinger. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's Garrett Hampson. Garrett Hampson. Way outside, and it's two and one. The Cincinnati bullpen has some movement. Lucas Sims loosening up for manager David Bell. Mole, the lefty, warming up as well. There we go. Drive, base hit down the Can't line. Get down. Can't get Made it. Board on the lead off Take single. it though. Take it. The bat, number 10. Jordan Lawler stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Base knock center field. Now he's in the heat to get a hit. Oh, he got a hit by pitch, though. Second now with nobody out. <coughs> so the lineup flips over. Now here is Corbin Carroll. High fly ball down the left field line. Good play. Fuck. One nice grab. And there's one down. Wow, that one almost got out of here. I know the wind's blowing out to left, but man, that <coughs> almost pushed. Lucas Sims on the pitch out of the pen here. And oh, we all bullshit. Know about a slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Up and in, two and one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. Struck I didn't out. realize it was going to be that far down. Oh, that slider was way out of the zone. And we know now. We know now. To not seeing the pitch out of the hand, not tracking it into the zone, and then also being a little bit anxious, not confident in your two-strike approach. And so when a guy's in that position, you get him to commit early, and a lot of times you get the swing and miss, as you did right there. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. He's under it. Drops into the glove. And that should have been gone. Out. Diamondback strand a pair, but they still lead it 3 2. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Stuart Fairchild. In the air, foul off first. 
One away. Now the left fielder, T.J. Friedel. The pitch. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. Are they chanting MVP at him? Bows it off. Nowhere Still near Corbin Carroll. The Reds trailing by a run. Last half of inning number five. And that skips in the dirt. Puts it in the air out towards left center. That one gets down for a hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane. Run around the move. Little chopper rolls Good, down. good, good, good. The two strikes may see some movement over there. Runner goes again. Foul ball still a one and two count. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. And that's off the inside edge. And the count is two and two. In the air, out towards left center. That one gets down for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, this one out. A perfect example right there. <coughs> that plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Oh, the left is up. Um, oh, I'm going to have to go through everyone today. The one, two. Ripped to third and caught to first, but he's back in time. Oof. Nice hustle to close a though. play there. We were close Schumer though. Candelario, the next to hit for the Reds. All right, we just need to get him out. And that one hit to first, knocks it down. Flip to the yes, got time. there, and got him. Let's go. Fan cam me. They trail it, three two. Ooh, Cincinnati hot dogs, nachos and ice cream. Huh. That's cute. I mean, every every booth is the same, but sure. Oh, that great. And the right hander deals. And another ball. Well, these Diamondbacks really impressing me with the quality. Not great contact, not good power. It's been fun to see him go to work. They really made that opposing starter work. Three ball. Almost got him. And no, they haven't broken through in a big way in the runs column. But with the way they're grinding out at bats, it definitely feels like there's potential for more coming. Downstairs and it misses ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Two strikes. One, two now. That one missing inside. Down, proper. Slider misses outside. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Oh, never he's pressing off, for sure. Me. And there's one down. Probably needs a day off. Francisco Mejia coming up to hit. Francisco Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He's Richard, one for one, man. One away. Oh, that plunked him. That's and the that's second time he's been hit today. He's been hitting this one. So, Boog, if you had to take one for the team, where would you want to get hit? Chris, I think I'd have to say upper hamstring. Next up for the Diamondbacks, Eugenio Suarez. And he's already left his mark on this game. He certainly has, Boog. A two-run shot Very in the slow, second that inning, and base that runners. made an early impact on this game in a big way. And fouled off. You could see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. On the ground, left side, six, four, three, double play. And the inning is Very over. slow pitch. Very slow batters. Back here at Great American Ballpark, John Shopey with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Spencer Steer. Kendall Graveman gets the ball now. 
still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So oh, this fuck. is a big opportunity for him to get some <coughs> important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. Fights it off. He'll see another. Okay. Ground ball right side. Walker You're takes out. it to the bag. One away. Bottom of the six. <laughs> Tyler Stevenson will hit next. One down. Base is empty. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Hauls it Got in it. for the out. And there's two down. And now the designated. I don't know why I'm so tired all of a sudden. Jonathan India. And the slider just misses. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. On the ground to third. Suarez. It Got it. First. Oof. Room to spare, and that's the inning. There we and go. Two, three, go the Welcome back. We're in the seventh. We have a new pitcher on the mound. Ian Jabot. A new Should pitcher. A first matchup for him here. He's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season. They've had a lot of trouble squaring him up. You know, and he drops in. So a runner, a I don't know why he's so good. I don't so understand it. Oh, he got hurt? Stop, Jordan Lawler. And a pitch. Oh. Fuck. Now one away. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it. And there he goes. Swing and a miss. Bro, save. That's a stolen base. Well, it seems like 90 feet is such a big deal in a tight one-run game like this one. Maybe it's a little bit risky, but they felt good about it, and it paid off. Let's see if they... Ah, and this ball gets down. It's a hit. They won't risk the send runners at the corner. I thought about it. One away. I thought about it. And I was like, no, nah, I got some varieties coming up. And he deals. Here goes the runner. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Sizing this one up. He's got it. And there's two away. Here comes the throw. It's off the mark and he scores. And they lead by two. There we go, there we go, there we go. There it's a great at bat, got the job done. Now up next for Arizona, Christian Walker. Right side, hard. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So they pick up a run. Oh, top of the six. Welcome back to the ballpark. And now the shortstop, Seven. Noel V. Marte. Kicks and deals. And there's a foul ball. If Graveman can get through this, I think we're one, good. Two. We can put and Mrs. Tom Thompson in. Wouldn't chase that time. It's up to how many pitches you up to? Come on. 18 pitches. Not terrible. Pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. On the move to the gap. Balls it in, and there's one away. Ooh. Stepping in. All right, let's get. Cups who warmed up. Down, base is empty. Popped up, foul Popped territory right up. behind the plate. Mejia snags it for the second out. Boy, all right, all right, we're going, we're going, we're good. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. And he can't come up with it. But in yes. time, nice job to stay with it. To end the end. Nobody left for Cincinnati. Still down by a count of four to two. We go to the eighth. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Diamondbacks, Randall Gritchick. Go Here love this. <sighs> Almost got him there. Straighten him up a little bit. On the ground to third. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Geraldo Perdomo. Right handed reliever. And now the count. One and two oh. after the swing and the miss. Man, he's going to be cold after this. Inside? 
I just need him to get a hit. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Oh, this one. And two away now. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't done that to you guys in a long time. Marte just got a double. On a ground ball through the infield. Ryan Thompson taking over on the mound. Big swing and miss stuff right here, Boog. Averaging more than one strikeout per inning this season. So far, he's been pretty electric. And another ball. Lace down the line, and now maybe extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And another ball. Out to short. We're Sits looking back. One gone to the bottom of the eight. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. That one pulled foul. Fastball, and he gets out of the way. Yeah, I backed him up. What about it? On the ground to first. Uh. And it's just foul. That was close. That missed inside. And wow, you're not going to give me that one, though? Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches That's and right. earned a walk. First and second, one out. Spencer Steer now at the plate. That one out to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Oh, that would have been there's two down. Next for Cincinnati, Tyler Stevenson. So the tying run at second. On the ground, right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Now into the ball game on defense, Ellie De La Cruz. He's All right, the new let's third get baseman. Seawald up. Hey, Eugenio here. Suarez stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Down and away? Outside? The 1-1 one -one is fouled Oof. off. And the righty deals. Just off the outside corner. That's close. Two balls, two strikes. Well, I it's think up. he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. And a swing and a miss. And a strikeout for the first yeah, out see, here oh, in the ninth. I don't see what so up next, is, uh, Garrett Hampson. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and that one missed one by a ton. Activity in the bullpen for the Reds. T.J. Antone, a right-handed big strikeout stuff, is getting it fired up. Fly ball down the line. Nah, he's there. Two down. Yeah, 66, 42, 50 is not great. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jordan Lawler. Ah, <sighs> oh, he could out there. And a pitch. On a line, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. I thought about so it. Back to the top of the Arizona lineup. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have Ready done that. delivers. Runner takes off. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. Not in time. He's safe. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Reds, T.J. Antone. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again. And here is Lourdes Gabriel ah. Jr. Oh, he bobbled it. Third to extend their lead. It's bobbled it? Two. He bobbled it. 
Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Two on, two outs. Double steal. One run in the inning, but they leave two. Bottom part. Back here in Cincinnati. And now right, here let's is get Seawald Paul in. Seawald gets handed the rock out of the pen. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Packs and the series win, too. So digging in, Noel V. Marte. And a pitch. Hard hit, left side. Fine play in the hole for the out. Two outs. Stuart Fairchild, the next to him for the Reds. They're oh. down to their final strike. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. One strike away. Swing and a pop-up. Lawler settles under it. He's got it. Good work. Ball game. Good work. And the Diamondbacks in the last two to take the three-game series. Awesome. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. They've been winning series. They win this one here. And you got your post game. Suarez with the two-run homer earlier in the game was really, really good. Um, and they just chipped on, added a couple extras. But good. Good series win. Um, looks like it's our third series win in a row. So good. We we'll go at to Baltimore and then get Cincinnati at home next. So that's good to advance our day. Um, that's good. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you next time. Bye.